Bible specifically says that if your child is unruly, if your if your son is disobedient and and disrespectful to his to, to the parents, that you are to bring him before the town and say this child is drunk and lazy and disrespectful, and then you stone him to death. Any examples in the Bible of that happening? Yeah, it's, it's, I can. Yeah, sure. Let me pull it up right now. I'll just Google it. <laughs> Deuteronomy 21, 18, if a man has a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they are chastened to him, he will not hearken unto them. His father and his mother shall lay hold on him, bring him out to the elders of the city and upon the gate of the place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, this is our son. The, he is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of the city shall stone him with stones that he dies. So shall you put evil away from among you, uh, and all Israel shall hear and fear. For people who believe in determinism, which is pretty much a railroad track way of thinking about people not changing, this sounds oddly like this person could improve. Firstly, there's evidence that he isn't because he's not listened to his mother, he's not listened to his father, he's being dragged before the elders, and they decide, you know what, this chap clearly isn't going to change. And the Bible gives an explanation as well. So evil doesn't grow in Israel. Basically, this person is lazy, he's drunk, he's using up resources, he's not helping society, he needs to go. The easiest way to do that is to kill him. Sounds harsh, but unfortunately, that's the way things were done.